All right, David Harry here. Now I've got a GoPro Max Lens mod for my GoPro Hero 9 Black, and I just need to open this up and see what it's all about even before I get outdoors. So this video is going to be just an unboxing and a little quick test indoors here as well. I'll just kind of grab it and twist it around in front of this camera so we can see how it responds indoors. Now the reason why I'm not gonna be doing any stuff outdoors in this video is because I wanna keep the video as short as I can. I wanna have a quick look at it. I just want to see what it's like indoors quickly with this type of lighting and plus the other thing as well the weather is dreadful at the moment outside I've waited a couple of days here and I can't wait any longer to unbox it and do the stuff and all the rest of it so I'll do it now and then when it gets better for light outdoors I'll definitely do a full-blown is this going to be good for vloggers type video anyway so there you go unboxing only and a quick test indoors let me get the camera pointing down on the table let's see what's in the box so there's Here's one box for a max lens mod and there's the GoPro 9 sitting next to it. I mean seriously, look at the size of the GoPro compared to that box there. And that box doesn't even have anything in, that's the size of the GoPro. Right, so let me just put the GoPro out the way for a second and let's just get into this box and see what's in here. But <laughs> the size of the box I think is just a little bit daft isn't it? Unless there's other stuff in there but I don't think there is. Anyways, let me just see what's on the bottom here. In fact, I'll tell you what, have a little quick look there. Pause if you want to read what that's saying there. Also, there's some other info there and a nice pretty picture of somebody on a ski or somebody skiing. And then on the front there, we've just got a pretty tasty looking picture of the Hero 9 with the lens mod and stuff and a bit of text on the top, Max Lens Mod. Uh, on the side there, just telling us it's compatible with the Hero 9 Black. And on this side, it's something to do with the lifetime warranty, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let me just get into this. Which way does this open? Let me see if I can do this without damaging the box too much because it may be the case that this isn't particularly that good for vlogging. And if that is the case, I will be selling it on. So I need to try and keep this stuff as a good looking as or as good looking as it can. Okay, and <laughs> as we suspected. <laughs> oh no, that's ridiculous. Look at that. There's the lens there. Hold on. There's a cloth and Look, look at that. Look at all that packaging. I mean, this is ridiculous. Again, I don't want to get on my high horse or anything. Let me just put this back in. I don't want to get on my high horse or not in here, but the amount of packaging that these companies go through to send something out that's only that big, you know, that's just totally wasteful. Anyway, get off your high horse, Dave. No one cares. So, free little lens cloth thing there might come in handy. And then there's the lens in here. Let's see, that's a bit scuffed on the top there, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh, I hope that hasn't took a knock during transit. Anyway, so, lift the back off here. And, okay, so that's the rear of the lens. So that's actually got the mechanism for twisting on the GoPro. We'll show that in a second. Let me just put that back on the back there. And let's see, oh, actually, hold on. I'll have to keep that off to get a grip there to pull this one off. Okay, and then there's the front there of the lens mod. Okay, and as we can see, it, it does come out, it does, it does kind of, you know, protrude outside of the body there. So I'd imagine when you're using it, you're probably gonna have to keep this to hand to throw it on in between takes and stuff, because I'd imagine that's gonna get scratched very easily. But the thing is, I think it has to be this way, you know, no kind of protection at the sides because it just needs such an insane field of view, hence why there's nothing to interfere at the sides with the lens itself. Okay, now give us a second. And so what I need to do now then is take off the front element here, the lens protector of the Hero 9. So I think that's just a quarter turn. Let's see, so you get yourself a good grip on that. So that's one quarter turn, and then I think, yeah, it comes straight off there. Okay, and then what we do, we just line up the lens mod there with the grip system there on the lens for the Hero 9. So pop that over that way. Then I'm assuming it's just as simple as another quarter turn, and there you go. So, oh, wait a minute. Right, <laughs> I've got a... 
I'm not gonna edit this out, okay? Because I thought I just did that correctly. I obviously didn't. Okay, quick jump cut here. Now, I don't wanna get all bogged down with this and start getting on one about the Hero 9 and stuff. But what I just did there to put that lens on, it felt like I was doing it properly, but it just didn't go on at all well. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just show you. I've just practiced a couple of times here, and I think this is the way I'll be doing it from now on. If you have a look at the lens mod there, where it's got the writing on it on the top that says Max Lens Mod, I'm going to use that to line up with the top of the GoPro there. And then I'm just going to push it over onto the locking system like that. And then keep it pushed quite firm and then do a quarter turn clockwise like that. And then, there we go. It's now on properly. The only thing is, and I think you might be able to see it yourself, is the alignment of the lens mod to the GoPro itself just isn't brilliant. It's not totally lined up. However, it's not going to alter anything as far as like, you know, geometry in the picture is concerned because it's just a spherical shape that the GoPro itself needs to see as far as the lens is concerned. However, that just isn't lined up at all well, I don't think. It might look okay to you, but I can tell you right now, it's not lined up properly. It's wonky going on. <laughs> uh... Now, of course, once we've got the lens mod on, we have to tell the GoPro that the lens mod is on. What it is, there's no electrical contact or anything between the lens mod and the GoPro, so we do have to force lens mod mode, as it were. So what I'm gonna do is show you how we go about doing that. So what we have to do is, Go to the menu system here. Now what's gonna happen, once we get in the right mode, we will have another icon here so we can quickly change. But I've deliberately not got it on so I can show you how to do it. So from here, do another swipe across to preferences. Oh, it's also worth bearing in mind, make sure you have the very latest firmware on when you do anything like these lens mods or any other mods. And then go on to preferences, then we'll scroll down to where it says mods there. So we'll select mods. And then where it says max lens mod, it says hide. So we're gonna tap on that. And then we're gonna scroll it to say show. So we're okay with that. Now let's go back to the start. Now what's gonna happen as we'll see, I'm gonna swipe down, go to the main kind of menu system and we will see a new icon. So scroll down and there we go. There's an icon in the corner there. So that bottom icon there and the bottom left, sorry, the bottom right. <laughs> I don't even know me left from me right. <laughs> so the icon there in the bottom right, we just tap on that and then that's gonna activate max lens mod mode as we can see there enabled. Now that's only part of the story because what we wanna do is have that weirdo horizon thing going on. So we have to tap this icon here. So let's tap that icon. Now we are in horizon lock mode. So this is where the fun begins. Now, another thing worth mentioning here before I continue is as far as settings are concerned, you've got very limited settings here. So if we just go in quickly, you'll see that once we're in the editing for the settings here, there's really only a few things we can change because we've got to be in 2.7K for this to work. Or, as we can see here, we can go to 1080. But the problem with 1080, it's obviously a lot less resolution, but 2.7K is the highest we can go to. And I'm in PAL mode, so I can go up to 50 if I want to. If you're in NTSC mode, you'll be able to do 59.94. But nonetheless, we can only go to 2.7K. So let me get out of there. Okay, so as you can see then, we are in the Max Lens Mod Super Duper Weirdo Leveling Mode. So let me just give you a quick example of this before I turn the camera back onto myself. Okay, so just for a quick example, example here what I'm gonna do is show you something right I've switched off the horizon leveling function here just to show you that when I turn the camera like this we will see as a, as is expected the front there is staying or what the camera is looking at isn't changing its orientation because it shouldn't do as we can see it's just gonna show us what's in front of it it's gonna re-level slightly to do with like you know it's it's kind of like EIS and stuff but for the best part that's going nowhere else, that whatever it's looking at. Now what we'll do, I'll switch on that function. Now watch this, as I turn it around, it is gonna stay locked in position and turn with the camera. Look at this, <laughs> how mad is that? 
Okay, so I can go right the way upside. In fact, I'll go upside down there. And it's showing the image as being upside down. But of course, it is not recording the image upside down. Now look at this. So it's keeping that position that we started off locked as far as the horizon is concerned. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna turn this around and do a quick one on myself. Okay, so just a quick indoor example just to end this video. So right now, this is the GoPro that we're looking at. But now, boom. There is the ZV-1. So as we can see, the ZV-1 is seeing the GoPro there. So what I'm gonna do is just do a slow turn round and then I'll alternate between the GoPro and the ZV-1, just so you can see exactly the position that the GoPro's in and then exactly what it's looking at me doing. So there we go. So I'm kind of like all a bit mad there as far as the orientation is concerned, but I should still be okay on the GoPro, but the ZV-1 should be shown as something a bit more different there. And now as we can see, see there the GoPro is upside down <laughs> and hopefully the ZV-1 can show what that's doing and then there we go there I'm gonna get right round shortly back to the front so that's me right back round after doing a complete nutter turn so we could see what was going on there now just for one more go I'm just gonna do it with the GoPro on its own and we should be able to see my arm here so as I do this my arm <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't go right the way around that way, otherwise my arm will snap off. <laughs> but we can definitely see what was going on there. Okay, so I think that'll definitely prove to us exactly what we're capable of doing with this lens on the Hero 9. However, is it going to be any good for vlogging? So what I will do in a future video, which hopefully I can do soonish, I will see about what this is going to be like for using as a vlogging device or this lens used for vlogging with the Hero 9. Anyways, if you're into this stuff that I've been doing with the Hero 9, if you go to www.gopro9.com, that'll take you to where all of my GoPro videos are. Also, as well, if you're interested in any of the bits that are being used and for the GoPro and stuff and the stuff that I use for filming the videos with, there'll be links to all that stuff in the description below. And also as well, if you've liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon in the process as well. Anyways, the last thing that remains for me to say right now is I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.